Hello everybody, my name is David DiGregorio, but on the internet I am known as Zenith Rule, where I review anime and manga and other forms of media. I am one of the head writers for Gotham High Audio Drama, and I really wanted to speak to you about what goes on behind the scenes writing for Gotham High Audio Drama. Now, personally, I am a huge fan of Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, uh, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Static Shock, all these shows that fit into the Bruce Tim verse. Uh, it's a massive continuity, and I really felt that it hasn't advanced uh, really too, too much since Justice League Unlimited ended. And afterwards, we really didn't get too, too many new shows that tied into this universe. We had The Batman, which was kind of mediocre to me. And we had Batman Brave and the Bold, which was its own separate entity. And what I really want to capture here with my writing is kind of it, it not not too dark a tone. Like I do want to have some lighthearted elements, but I really wanted to capture um, a lot of what made the Bruce Tim verse good. I want to have serious dramatic storylines that all have a continuity to them. And I always pay attention to the other episodes that other writers write. Uh, I read them over and I try to incorporate elements so that everything ties together. I like to have a running continuity. And you'll see in every episode that I will write will have a similar theme or a similar idea woven behind it. Uh, the first episode that I wrote was called Pet Project. It's episode four, and that has an idea that's presented that will continue throughout the rest of this season and on to season two. Uh, I've been working very closely with Liam to make sure everything fits together. But what I really wanted to explore with this was Ra's al Ghul, because he's going to be a main character. His, uh, his real name is Henry Ducard, and he's always been really fascinating. Uh, He's always really been fascinating to me uh, ever since I saw Batman Begins. And I know they really didn't capture Ra's al Ghul correctly, but I, I really was fascinated with the character. So my main idea with Pet Project was to bring Ra's al Ghul into the limelight and to showcase him. Um, he's not really a minor character, but at the same time, I felt he hasn't been utilized a lot recently. Uh, again, I don't really read too, too much of the comics, so I can't speak for them or the New 52, but I really wanted to capture the idea of this character uh, with a specific tone of the Bruce Tim verse. And I kind of went from there. And so I created an episode that started centralized around Henry Ducard, and Bruce is a major player in it, but at the same time, I realized that this is... A high school this isn't you know every it can't just be one character centric and so I try to incorporate as many characters as I can that feel relevant to the plot uh, I know DeLong is very happy with Basil uh, he was a minor character and I tried to really incorporate him in there and have his have his appearance mean something. I don't want to use a character and have him not mean something to the story, if not to foreshadow something or to, to have a real impact on what the story is trying to say. And I also wanted to have it have a real high school feel. You're never going to have one character alone monologuing, or you're never going to have one person just doing something by himself. High school environment is very group centric and that's another big thing I want to incorporate here so you'll have a lot of characters interacting and what started as a Henry Ducard Bruce episode turned into something much more you'll see a lot of focus on Eddie Nashton uh, on Oswald Cobblepot and uh, Jack Napier has a very good scene in there as well and minor characters like Victor Freeze and Harley Quinn all get chances to shine. And that's what I wanted to really work on and have everything feel natural. I uh, started from what I wanted to achieve with the episode first. I had a very big end goal that I wanted to achieve. 
I wrote that first and then I went from there. I kind of layered the plot. So if you can if you can spot the twist in the episode before you finish it, let me know. I want to see what you think of it. Um, but anyway, that's kind of how I write the episode. I write as I go along. Uh, an idea balloons and I just expand upon it and go from there. Right now, I'm going to be working on a new episode. It's going to be an Eddie Nashton Central episode. And I don't know if I just want to incorporate him. I, I think I want to do it kind of the same way I did Pet Project. And so it's going to delve a lot more into who Eddie is and why Eddie is the way he is. But the theme of Henry Ducard and the stuff that I established in episode four is going to continue there. And so I hope you enjoy. Um, and thank you guys for watching this behind the scenes of how I write uh, my episodes. And um, there's also an episode I'm working on with DeLong very closely. And uh, I hope you guys like that as well. But until then, I am Dave DiGregorio. Um, and I hope you guys like Gotham High Audio Drama.